Hello to everyone, I am Indurak, and today I am playing more Knights of the Old Republic. So I got arrested after all the trouble I've been causing around here, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Um, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't think there's anything I could say that could really help. I don't need anyone to represent me. Well, it's true that you have the right. I would recommend against it. Do you, to your confinement, you have had so much of a chance to build up evidence to pursue your case. You have not had much of a chance. Also, I did not. I do not believe you off-worlders truly understand the minds of we Selkath. It would be best if you left your defense up to me. Okay. How will you get me free? Okay. For what reason did you enter the Sith base? <laughs> um. What if I told him the truth? Because technically I kind of broke in. What if I said. What if I gave true answers? I have a feeling that wouldn't turn out well for me. Illegal acts seem to be a common occurrence among you off-worlders. I am not terribly surprised by your actions, but the judges will want to hear a little more convincing reason. Prior association with the Sith. I have no prior association. Tend to congregate much amongst yourselves. I see no inherent differences between the two groups. Hmm. <sighs> this isn't gonna go well. You know what? Let, let, let's see how well this goes. I don't know. It's I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fail. It's gonna fail. Alright. My kind is not guilty. I'm gonna continue. What if I just let him continue? If I keep letting him continue. Alright. Played a not guilty. Reports of weapons fire. Sif have not confirmed with you. Conferred with the authorities about this matter. Uh, is not involved in the disturbance. Merely a mistake. Okay, it's just the same. It's just saying say the same thing. Hmm. Business of the Jedi Order. Of course, my client is noted to entry. Transcript. Uh, Jedi would not have murdered so many out of spite. Um, client is not fanatic. That is unfair. My client is mentally incompetent and unable to form complex thoughts. Please, I throw my client on the mercy of the court. Oh, man. The court does not dispense in mercy, only justice. Your client will be sentenced according to our laws and tradition. No, I'm a Republic citizen. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I don't understand. What? I... Okay. If I lie and tell him that I was invited, he's not. Even he's not gonna believe me. But I don't know. <sighs> Damn it! I have no idea what I'm doing.
This is ridiculous. Is there really no way to avoid this? Alright. I was invited. Perhaps the judges will be more sympathetic to your view. Prior association with the Sith. I'm on a mission to stop them from taking over. I I don't know, man. What the hell? I kill them wherever I can find them. This is ridiculous. I don't know. All right, you know what? Let's just let's try this. I strongly recommend against. Uh, really? No, I'll represent myself. I should leave your demise up to you. All right, let's see how well we can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> Determine the culpability and punishment of the individual, blah, blah, blah. Given the severity of this trial, we can dispense with the normal formalities and... Okay. You were seen entering and leaving the embassy. The Sith have not conferred with the... Uh, okay. Where's your explanation? I was killing Sith, see? Simple. The Sith lured me inside. I mean, that sounds like it would be a good way to justify my actions, but... The Sith lured me inside. I am most skeptical of this statement. But it may be true. How is it they lured you inside? What bait did they use? Um... Hmm. They offered me a job. To a Jedi? Unlikely, but possible. Then how did the fighting start? They tried to double-cross me. I refused, and they attacked. Somehow, I don't think they'd believe something like that. They tried to double-cross me. Maybe that? Preposterous! Does sound like something the Sith would do. Okay, actually, yeah, yeah. I kind of figured that might be a good thing. I'm inclined to believe the Offworlder. We are joining this debate. You're still uh, okay. Wow, just like that. Okay. Well, that worked out surprisingly well. Huh. We have reviewed your case and decided there's not enough evidence to convict you of this crime. The provocations of the Sith are well known, and we are and we will be issuing a memo of the censor again. Se I don't know what that says. Considered off limits to all security, all other city and security personnel. No calls or incidents from their base will be attended to until the matter is dealt with, as they are no longer subject to the protections of the Selketh law. Yay! Okay. We did it. That went well. Well, I mean... While we're here... Hang on. Wait a minute. What the hell? Where am I? Oh, wait. Hang on. Just to look at the map. Okay. Auto West. All right, let's save here, now that we uh, had that dealt with. All right. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. 
I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I mm -hmm. hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. I'm aware of the Republic's indignation, however. Witness reports clearly say your Republic soldiers were as willing to engage in violence as a Sith in this case. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. Words can be ignored, which is what your men should have done. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault for this breach of the peace. I should throw all parties involved into the Auto City Jail, but since no Selkath were harmed in this conflict, I will show mercy and levy a fine of 10,000 credits for both sides. The court is dismissed, though I warn you that further disturbances will not be viewed with such leniency. <sighs> I'm sick of hearing about Manon's neutrality. It sounds like a coward's excuse not to fight, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. They say everyone on Manon is equal, but it seems the Republic is a little more equal than the Sith. Neutrality? Ha! That's a laugh! Acting on behalf of blah blah. If you have legitimate grievances with other party, uh, speak to me. Is there something you wish to bring to my attention? How did you know I was from the Republic? Your ship registry is originally from the Republic world of Transcell. Therefore, you are a Republic. Si oh! I guess my the ship I have was originally stolen by what's his face? Davin, whatever his name was. Are you saying you stole your ship? No, perfectly legitimate. <laughs> if it's if I work for the Republic and if it's a Republic ship, then I have a, a right to have it, I guess. Whatever. <sighs> Is there a star map on this world? Not precisely, but Manan holds many wondrous and exciting locales for treasures. Okay. Um. The vibrant nightlife that I live. Power up, Father and the Alina. Do not waste my time with it. I would like to investigate the murder case involving Sunri. That is acceptable, I believe, in Manan Lee. In Manon, legal tra tradition, in the, in the defendant can have an arbiter who tries to prove his innocence in the court. This arbiter is a neutral party that can investigate and present evidence in the trial and argue in the defense behalf. Okay. I suppose your son is only hope. We have to at least try to help him. So be it. You are now appointed arbiter of the case of Sunry versus the Sith Empire. Blah 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 blah. I will now inform you. The pertinent facts of this case, you have been limited. You have a limited amount of time in which to investigate and organize the. Okay. Sunri was seen leaving the hotel, leaving behind dead Sith woman. Alessia has been charged with murder and. Due to his crippled, crippled status, he has been kept in a solitary holding cell. Witnesses claim to have seen the killing and are being detained at the hotel in question. Pending the trial, the manager of the hotel has now been informed of your appointment. With a blaster wound and incriminating Republic medal clutching, clutched in her hand, this information has been uploaded to your data pad. It would be wise to review all information for it. Okay. Maybe question Sunry of the witnesses. The evidence in this case is heavily stacked against Mr. Sunry. I believe it'll take some time to. Uh, yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. You may also interview the judges here, including myself, to get an idea of the. Okay. Let's save before we do anything else here. <coughs> okay. Okay. 
What do you think of Sunri? Known as a hero of the Republic in your perpetual conflicts with the Sith Empire. Uh, severely injured in the line of duty. High regard. Speaking of that injury, has it been taken into consideration, Your Honor? No way does his disability hamper him, though. Rest assured that my personal regard for Sunri will not affect my judgment. While emotion may rule your Senate, the cold heart hand of the law rules here on Manan. Hmm. Anything suspicious? The metal? Such a blatantly incriminating piece of evidence would be left at the scene of the crime. We have analyzed the evidence, but it does not appear to be a replica, but I still have my doubts. In the midst of the crime, though, Sunri would, could have well lost it. I have seen much more improbable things happen. Uh, Simply because it was real does not mean Sunri would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. Hmm. What else is it ask? Okay, no. All right. What do you think of Sunri? Hmm. I think Sunri maintains his contacts with the Republic and seeks to escalate the situation here. Anything suspicious? Sunri is from the Republic. Uh, Empire battling. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, you uh, are not uh, quite as. Uh, I don't know. What do you think of Sunri? He's capable of some of the republics. Uh. Hmm. Anything suspicious? Why well, would he have been running if he had not if he had com not committed a crime himself? Or was at least aware of what had occurred. Hmm. I'll try not to defend him quite so much. All right, Kota. What do you think of Sunri? He fought for the Republic against the Sith aggression and proved glorious. Great respect for his accomplishments. I find it tragic he finds himself in this current situation. If the Republic had more individuals like him right now, I do not believe the Sith would be so great a problem for your people. Well, this guy, uh, okay. Anything suspicious? Murderous Sith woman, especially not from behind. But knowing the Sith, there would probably be some deception involved. They seek to do the same to us here. There have been much pressure with the Sith on our government, and even the judges themselves to deliver a guilty verdict on this case. But the letter of the law is absolute, and we will not compromise for Sith power games. All right. What do you think of the Republic and Sith Empire? For all its faults, your tottering Republic has benefited the vast majority of the galactic. Yeah. I do not like the Sith. That I make no effort to hide. I will admi even admit what. Uh, damn it. But I must remain impartial and rule this ca on this case as the law requires. Okay. Hello. Dula. Okay. <coughs> what do you think of Sunry? Hmm. A man who can barely walk killed a Sith warrior in a prime? Preposterous. But I wouldn't put it past the Republic to try and arrange the circumstances to see her dead. The Sith are much more straightforward about their intentions. 
Anything suspicious? For presumptuous to assume the cripple will suddenly kill uh, uh, it must have been another who killed her. Perhaps one of the witnesses. I do not know the reason for the medical clutches and no the uh, okay. I think this may Republic con conspiracy and I'm not afraid to say so. I have a feeling it's uh he's probably been framed. All right. Um, okay, excuse me. Thank you. All right. Um, hang on, let me, uh, hang on a minute. Data pad, 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 data pad. Nope. Nope. Hmm? Uh, okay. Wait, I'm I'm confused here. Um <sighs> oh, it's here. Okay. Sunry was seen leaving the scene. Um well, How much time do I have though? If there's a limited amount of time, how much of it do I have? Two witnesses. Hmm. <laughs> The story seemed to collaborate Igna Ignis. Okay. All right, let's let's go. Let's just let's just get out of here, and let's go uh, investigate this case. Elora. Oh. It is you. I I need your help. Laura, of all the people, how did you even know I'd left Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunri. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why, whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunri has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? What? It's all a mistake. <laughs> we were just in the freaking. Sunri isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Elora. We're Sunri now. Sunri's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. <laughs> Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Elora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunri. Somehow. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. <laughs> yeah. My <coughs> husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Can you tell me anything about Sunri? Sunri's... He's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Are you saying someone your age couldn't overpower a woman? Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, damn it. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no okay, way well. he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Don't worry, Ella. Uh. Well, Anna. Yeah, I'll, I'll save him. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Of course. I hear you've been a find the Okay. Oh, okay. If you wish to begin your trial, you must make the request to it the warden. 
All right. How is your deal? Jolie, what are you doing here? The Lord sent me somebody. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just Us? Time, Just me, Jolie, though. <laughs> you come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. So I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's well that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Let's go over the evidence. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I uh I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith when I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alessa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Could I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Yeah, that would be weird. Oh, not that stupid. Obviously, yeah. the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. <laughs> Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly. Well, Clear my not head. all the cell cats think I you're guilty. I want my arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. I need to investigate the case some more. Any ideas where I should look? I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. Cellcath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offloaders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith embassy. I've already Anything been in there. I can help you with. I want my arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial few things you have to clear up go ahead ask ask what you need to I've got nothing to hide the judges said that you left after the shot was fired how would they know they weren't there I heard some of the witnesses said that too but I swear she was alive when I left I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me it wouldn't surprise me at all they've had it in for me since the war you should ask everyone about that they might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. All right. Very well. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. Okay then. Let's let's go. Hmm. Hang on. Hello. I wish to speak with you if you have the time. Nico Boas! Enjoying yourself here. It's truly a wonder to behold. You are too gracious, human. I fear for the preservation of my planet. What are you talking about? There's a task I would ask, human Jedi. I fear there is no one else I could turn to. What do you want me to do? It will be an ample reward, only require information. Republic has been hiring mercenaries 
more, many more than usual. Uh, no, one cannot help but wonder. There's a great concern to me. Change in Republic policy. Why do you need me for this? I cannot trust anyone else. I have inquired often to, as to their... Okay. They will twist the truth so that it furthers their own goals. High wages the Republic is paying. Uh, uncover their truth. I'll pay you 500 credits. See if you can find the answers I seek, why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. I'll look into it for you. Protect the Republic's interests, and there's a self calf of course. Okay? Sure! Oh, you have a name! That must mean I can talk to you. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. Oh! I don't come here. Never mind. <laughs> So clear out already. Jeez, chill. Hey man, clear out. You're cramping my style with the ladies. <laughs> sure I am, yeah. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. What do you have against the Achani and the Mandalorians? They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. Johnny believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed, but I am Eridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, and the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. <laughs> Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. Why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? What do you know about the murder of Alasa? On my world, those too weak to defend themselves deserve to die. A murder is justified if you have the strength to kill your victim. Is there anything Okay. Eh. Yes, I'm not surprised. There are few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. <laughs> right, yeah. For a while, the Republic were hiring anyone they could get their hands on. Now they don't have any use for us, Mercs. It's too bad. What? I could have used the work. Wait, what? So, are they hiring mercenaries or not? <laughs> if you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slagger at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. What do you have against them? Well, nothing. Except that the Ichani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Ichani are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard mm -hmm. them turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pretty much name my price right now. Especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. Why are they hiring so many mercenaries? They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. Mm hmm Not really. They say some Republic war hero killed her. Maybe you should check out the Republic Embassy. So why... Okay then. Oh, uh, hi. Is this true? My allegiances are my own business. 
You're wise to be so guarded, human, but my sources are rarely wrong. You're a friend of Malik's... You are no friend of Malik's people. <clears throat> I share your dislike of the Sith. It brought grief to your family. I'm no fool, but I know Sith... I know the Sith do not respect our laws in the Republic as the Republic does. Hmm. The intergalactic politics stay my hand. I know the Sith are evil. And what they may be doing now. What are you talking about? I mean, the Salkath have vanished. It, who have gone missing are the cusp of adulthood. The youth who will someday lo lead this planet. My own daughter is among those who have disappeared. Coincide with the arrival of the Sith, and I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something. You want me to investigate the disappearances? I will give you 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter and those other missing Sailcat youth. Not much, but it's all I can afford. I have no official authority in this matter, and my personal wealth is not vast. Uh, I shall look into these disappearances. Uh, if you learn anything, report to me at once. Uh, okay. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Ah. Go to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. <sighs> I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. <clears throat> Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. <laughs> Whatever. You're new around here, aren't you? My name's Duan. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it's investigating the murder of... Uh... What is there to investigate? Obviously, Sanri is guilty, but the Republic is doing everything they can to keep him out of the Selkath prison. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? You're taking interest in the Selkath youth. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that. <sighs> oh, I get it. I get a little bit wild, and you want to hold it against me. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Okay. The Sith have suffered setbacks here on Manan. Their goods are. Uh, ah, it's just stims. Stuff, stuff I just never freaking use. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, so, do we what? have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Mind, I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Oh, so there's a, a, a freaking hiring battle going on now. In case
case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now, excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. <laughs> uh huh. And Maybe you could hire me? I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments. Mm -hmm. Mind? I'm. Okay. Okay. So let's let's go on elsewhere. Let's go find that hotel. <clears throat> okay, yep, and now I'm back to where I've been. Uh, I can't remember where anything is, though. Uh, I guess I can... Port official. East, central, maybe it's there. Okay, that's the hotel. All right, Republic Enclave. I could probably talk to them about the whole mercenary hiring thing. I'm not gonna go buy anything. I don't know if I, I don't know. All right, let's go. Republic Asola de Ar. Okay, I'm gonna save. Hi, dude! You're the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Tell me what you about what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Elasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Well, that's generally what. Okay. Could it have gone up? Oh, right. Okay, no, sorry. I'm, I'm misread misreading this stuff. He left after the shot went off. Like, or wait, hang on. Oh no, no, sorry. I'm. Could it have gone off after he left? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. You could testify. It happened after he left. <laughs> no, no way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get okay. your public buddy off or whatever. I have no interest in going to prison. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to know? Let's let's not try to let's try not to influence him. What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Okay, tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Elasa, oh, wait. rented Oops. a room. He can't run good because... Yeah. No. What do you all right, let's... Uh, who are... Who are the witnesses in the hotel? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Lukewarm. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Oh. I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular <coughs> named Feareth Me. 
He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. If you need anything... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go talk to the witnesses. Hang on. Can I, like, can I take a look at the crime scene? Oh, foot locker! Ah. I was so excited. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's just go. <laughs> Will they let me take their stuff? Take his stuff? Even though I've been able to do that for a Ooh, lots of credit, sir. You with the cell cat? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Sunri, I only heard of <coughs> once or twice in passing. Some sort of old time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alassa's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. Ah? Huh? You mean Sunray was having a relationship with Alassa? I'm not saying anything about that. What they did in that room in private is their business. Okay. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although, if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Sith Master? Oh, uh, well. Alasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. What did you see? I didn't see anything, and there's no way you can make... Okay. You know you want to tell me. You know, I think I could trust you. Heck, I don't even know why I shouldn't tell you. Well, one time, I saw Alasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Oh, she was a dark Jedi. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now that's hmm. all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Dark side points. What? For, probably from the force persuade. All right, let's you try that again. I skipped the and they're up. I did. <sighs> Thank. I was in being still alive. Oh, Hell, shit. You can't. Whoops. Ah, crap. Hang on. Son, keep. I'm in. Up. Well. Okay, time, there we go. But this time, now he's saying the same I thing. Don't have any qual See, now that's all. You again. What did you see the night about? I was in my room, minding my own business, with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon, when I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. I looked out after a minute, and saw Glupor in the hall by Alas's room, and Sunri running like the wind. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. You you just said like glue porn was out there. You mentioned him, and yet you have nothing else to say about yes, that. Yes, well I'll be right here. Not like they're letting me go anywhere else. All right. So we managed to do that. Okay, guys, excuse me. All right. I don't want to have to change characters just to get out of a friggin' room. Alright. You have questions? Okay. I have... Do you know about the Selkath youths who have gone missing? 
Well, Glupar has been locked in this room for days. Glupar think it rather poor insight to think he knows something. I guess that is a point. All right, what do you, I have questions about the murder. You not know? Glupar have no reason not to say. Glupar tell everything. Uh, why were you at the hotel? Glupar not very rich. Hotel too much too rich for Glupar to live at. Glupar stay for weeks and have better life for a while. What did you see? Glupar did see Republic guy running away from the scene of crime. Glupar see nothing else. Especially not in the Sith Lady. Oh, funny that you say that. What about Elas's room? To see what had happened. Glupar have no reason to go into room. No one pay Glee. Oh. <sighs> did I say his? Did I mess up his name or something? I don't know. Did someone pay you to do something in that room, Glupor? I forgot to save. How you know some? Okay, never mind. It worked. Sith man came up. Uh, he say he give Glupor good money if Glupor put metal into Sith's hand. Glupar plant evidence and leave no trace. Glupar not recognize Sith man anyway. Glupar not recognize humans very well. well. I can't. Okay. And Sith man say he killed Glupar if Glupar speak. Oh no. Hmm. Wait, what else could I... Okay, I guess. Hmm. Hello. You the one defending... Hmm. Okay. Well. All right. Oh, mysterious man! You, Jedi, I hear you are investigating the Sunday murder child. This case is not at all what it appears to be. And many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. Oh, what do you mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Uh, I think so. Kinda. Dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic. Likely in their embassies. They just give it to me? No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be hmm, devious to get what you want. Here hmm. I advise Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Maybe you could give maybe you could help out in this trial, dude! Since you obviously know something I don't. Daddy just runs away. <sighs> All right, so I'll save and let's go talk to this guy because I haven't done that yet. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Yes, here it is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi exhausted all the other options I think I can entrust you with this as you know the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire as you also undoubtedly know we're doing very poorly we need much in the way of supplies and materials <coughs> to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory Manon is the sole source of Kulto the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy frankly we need as much of it as we can get where is the Republic done the Selkath conservatives with their neutrality treaties 
seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Palto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. What sort of deal? We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, uh, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Why have you not investigated? As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith. But they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the round oh. rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater and the reason we needed its data back so badly was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift Station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. How will I get down there? I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station, and also to take you back up should you... Ah, this is the mission in which I stopped playing the game. ...and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest, and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left out there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Okay. So yeah, it was that mission, I think, that I stopped playing this game. Uh, but I think I finished this case first. But yeah, the reason I stopped playing was because of my stupid mistake of auto-leveling up myself all the time. When you are ready to explore the Brackard Rift, enter the Republic base. Yes, yes, yes. Have a course to the Brackard Scientific Rift. Wish you luck on your quest. But I have other things to... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. I can't talk now. I've got to get this call to load it up before my shift is over. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. Hmm, hang on. No, I don't want to do that mission yet. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh wait, I don't think I have enough computer spikes for anything. <sighs> Shit. Okay, yeah, you know, I guess I'll have to buy it. Let's reload that. I don't remember where I can buy those, but uh, I'll go take out take a look at that one shop that's just outside there. Right here we are. It's right there. Hello. Oh, what? That's not with the door. <laughs> okay. That was not the entrance. Hey, Tiber. How's it going? Sith, continue to. Uh, otherwise, I'm keeping well. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic embassies, so can you just bill it to them? Mm hmm. What's up? I always shop here. Tiber. Okay. Except the position. Uh, I have no doubt Sunri's been framed. 
Okay. Huh. Do you know about the Sunry case? Alright, what do you have? What? Aw, oh, man. Damn it, he doesn't have any. Damn it, how the hell am I supposed to... I'm, I, I'm going to see if there's anything in the freaking restricted files. I, I don't know. Hmm. I think it was another shop around there. Somewhere. Hang on. It's Shady Rodian. Oh, right, right, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Well, why are you being so shady if you sell friggin' Pazic cards? <laughs> Seems kind of silly. Alright. I guess let's take a look at the Sith Embassy, if I can still even go in there. Whoops, I pushed the wrong button. I'm done. Okay, there's a shop there. Maybe there's a computer spikes I could get there. Hmm. I don't think I ever saw what was here. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Swoop registration. Eh, I'll, I'll do that later. Hang on, let me at least discover this thing here for the map. There we go. Alright, now let's see if we can get into that Sith Embassy again. Uh, I'm a little over time, but I may at least try that. Oh yeah, I forgot I wanted to go here first, and then... Okay. Alright. You only got two? Oh, man. Damn it. Shit. It's not... This isn't gonna go well. I mean, I don't know if I need to look in that, into that. Computer, I don't know. Hello. This entrance to the Sith Embassy has been closed temporarily due to a maintenance failure. The main entrance to the Embassy will reopen when the problem has. Main entrance? I heard the Embassy was attacked. What? How did you. Uh, this unit has no. <laughs> uh huh. Legitimate business with the Sith should return when the repairs have been completed. Uh -huh. How can I get inside now? The secondary external entrance is reserved for Sith personnel only and is not to be used by visitors. Those with legitimate. Uh -huh. Well, I just went in, so. Uh, oh, I didn't save first. Oh. Okay, I'm not in any sort of trouble for that. Hang on. So, wait, there was... Something that I needed to find in here. I don't remember what, but... Hmm. Sealed door. Hmm. I don't know if there's any way we, that we could get in there. Hang on. Hmm.
I have no idea. <laughs> Where can I find what Maybe I'm supposed to, maybe I should be looking at computers or something. Wherever I can find any. Let's read about that. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Damn it, I, I don't I have no idea what it is that I need to do here. What I where I'm s I don't remember. Did I find a data pad or something that has information and I didn't even realize? Where is everyone? <sighs> guys are ridiculous. There we go. Let's save over my last save. No, wait, no, no, no. It's probably just going to be the same thing as freaking the rest of that. Uh huh? I don't understand, man. What? I was, I was told to look in the embassy for. I, I have no idea, man. Uh, maybe I. <laughs> Did I mess things up? I have a feeling I might have messed this up. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I just, I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like I messed everything up by going, by doing some of these other missions first. I don't know. there's anywhere I could find information about anything. Find med kits. Upstairs, not it.
Okay, this is literally impossible. <sighs> Hang on. Okay, actually, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm supposed to do. So, yeah, I'll stop this video here and do something else. So that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.